Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super special because it's my first makeup collaboration with my friend Allie Green. We do each other's eyelashes, so we decided to finally kind of do something more on my end of the spectrum. beauty spectrum. Yeah. So we did a makeup video together. So we're doing a video for my channel and a video for her channel. So everything will be linked below, so make sure you check out that video as well. Please like and subscribe to my channel because this is like kind of my dream and I'd like to grow my channel and I'm so grateful to Allie for yes. filming with me to help me kind of get more people's attention. Of course. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Mm. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna find my things even though I don't think that that's beneficial in any way, but yeah, I'm not gonna prime because I don't usually prime. That's fine. So yeah. you thing. Okay, yeah. My skin's like a weird color right now, so I'm gonna have to mix these. My primer is this one by Becca, the first light priming filter. Wait, let's put this on my fingers because I'm lazy. Okay, I'm skipping the primer. I'm gonna use MAC Mineralize Foundation. In NW13, I'm going to mix it with MAC Studio Fix Lube, which is my favorite, with NW15. They're both MAC? Yeah. Cool. I've never I tried like, MAC um, foundations. I love their foundations. They're so good. And then I use Prep and Prime. Okay, and fix plus for four. Okay. Okay, so I put the primer on, and then I'm going to use um, this by NARS. Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer because I really hate foundation, especially for like an everyday type of situation. It just makes me feel greasy, but you gotta do it. So you just take your beauty. Sometimes if I feel like I need an extra glow, I add a pinch of this Wonder Glow from Shop oh, yeah. Tilbury too. I've been meaning to try that too. Oh, it's so good. You gotta try this. I love her stuff. You're over here saying you can't afford this and you're using ours. I can't afford that. <laughs> no, I can't afford it. I just don't want to. <laughs> My constant problem is that nothing matches my neck because I'm the palest human on the planet. So I mean, so. also just got a facial, so my skin is like bright red, but it's fine. But it'll be looking good in like five days. So. I know. I'm ahead of you. So I'm Abby. <laughs> um, Bailey and I know each other because I did Bailey's eyelash extensions like a year ago. Mm -hmm. And then she just like had to stick with me because I do such a good job. Yep. <laughs> well, you. You just blossomed before my eyes exactly. with your skills. I just grew into this amazing woman. And then you got me into it. Yeah, and then I showed Bailey who to go to mm -hmm. to learn, and she is so good now, and she does my lashes, so we just trade off. But we see each deal. other like every single week. Yeah. <laughs> but this is fun because normally we're always talking about lashes, and I think that's more of like your thing. Make us sell your thing because I'm not a professional at this. Yeah, and like I feel like makeup's more my thing just because that's kind of what I started out doing. And so we kind of like talk about lashes most of the time, but this is fun because we've never done makeup. Exactly. I thought this would be so fun here too. And I use the Becca concealer for like an everyday thing because it's really lightweight. It's the Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. And I just use my booty blender. Yeah, this is an off-brand beauty blender from TJ Maxx. I think it was $3, so we're all about the savings here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now that my face looks nice and pale, I also, because I have so many pimples and spots, have to use this. Oh, and I don't even know what this is. This is, is sponsored by Mac. Oh, yeah. Mac sponsored. Your face is sponsored by Mac. It is. This is... This is concealer. Yeah, I would say it on the bottom. It just says moisture cover. Okay. Okay, this is the MC15 moisture. moisture cover. I don't know, I just picked this up at the store the other day. But I've been liking it to cover my spots. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. It's like the best setting powder. Actually, I really like the Laura Mercier like translucent one. This one. That's what I use, yeah. This and I actually kind of like that better, but I don't know. This is just what I've been using. You like, like that, the Laura Mercier better? Yeah, I feel like it just like, I don't know. This one looks kind of thick to me. I don't know. I thought I bought it, so I'm going to use it. Okay. 
this is why you clean your beauty blenders. Yeah, I haven't cleaned mine in months. <laughs> this is probably why my face breaks out so much. That's the one thing that sucks about beauty blenders is like how hard they are to brush. Cause like brushes, you can clean them pretty easily, but so like beauty blenders, but like you can't replace a beauty blender. There's nothing that works as good. So you do Have you tried those brushes that are like the artiste brushes? Oh, those like ones that look like huge spoons. toothbrushes? Yeah. Spoons. They look like spoons on the back. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, kind of. I thought they looked like a toothbrush. That's how I, I mean, I've never heard toothbrush, but like a humongous toothbrush. Okay, next I use the Hula Benefit Bronzer. This yeah. is my favorite. Yeah, it's good. Do you use that too? I used to. Right now I'm just using this Hourglass one. Who's that? Button? Hourglass. Oh. <laughs> no, <it's okay>. Hourglass. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do light brows because after a while I get irritated that they look so pale after I put on um, foundation. So I use the Anastasia Brow Powder and I have this like whole thing with all the colors. But I use dark brown. You can buy it in like just the one color. But I gotta have all the colors. For all the ladies that you do. And the brush is the Anastasia number no. seven brush. But this video is gonna be so much faster because it's just like the basic. But that's okay, that's what people want to know. Exactly, guys. I might look a little bit muddy right now. This is John's favorite word to use. Muddy. He tells me I look muddy. That was Charlie. He didn't like us talking about my muddy face. He's like, no, mom, you're beautiful. Thank you, Charlie. Does your dog do that? Yeah, he like, well, if he's pouting, he's like, hmm. It's more like a whine, though. That yeah. was just like a grunt. Well, he'll do that sometimes. He has all sorts of like weird noises that come out every now and then, and we're like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, where did that come from? He'll burp and like scare himself or like fart and scare himself. He like I'm I don't know. No, I mean they do that with the farts too. Like how do you know? And they like look behind them. Yeah. And like what was that? I'm like, like how do you, you not know that, that you came that came out of you? Did you not feel it? Like, I know. I know. It's so funny. I basically bronze my whole face. Just kidding. I do my forehead, my cheekbones, my nose. I've been working on my brows for like 12 minutes. So oh. underneath. The trick is to take your time on the brows though because it's very important. This is true. If you're someone that struggles with your brows like me, you just gotta take your time. Okay, I use the most basic brow powder on planet Earth. I got this from European Wax Center. They used it to fill my brows one time when they overwaxed them. Oh. And ever since then, I've actually loved the powder. I bought it that day. But do you still go since. there? I actually don't get my eyebrows waxed at all. I don't no, I just pluck them. Nobody does. <laughs> just pluck them. I'm not about to pay someone to do what I can do myself. Exactly. Alright, then you gotta set your brows. This is the clear brow gel. Okay, Anastasia. Oh, I have this one. Clear water resistant eyebrow gel by What's that? Tanya. the brow gel. Tanya Never Kirks. Heard of that. I also use the Benefit one sometimes too, that looks pretty good. I definitely got that in like a maybe Fab Fit Fun Box. Like one of those little but I really actually like it a lot. Cool. Maybe I got it for Christmas actually, I don't know, I don't remember. Okay. Hmm. I guess I'm going to do eyeshadow because you're putting on some eyeshadow, right? Just, I just a little bit, a little bit like eyeshadow. eyeshadow. But okay, I'm gonna do that because I mean, because if it's everyday, the truth is I don't really wear makeup. I know me because so we have like, lash extensions, so we don't, don't really wear makeup. But yeah, if I'm like everyday, like okay, I need to look presentable to go but do, you something, don't really do something. But I'm not trying to glam myself up. Right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do it too because I want to be like you. Okay. Also, this brow is way hairier than the other one. I really need to get this under control. Mine is too. One of them's like way thicker. This one is way thicker, and it drives me insane. Yeah. And they're never gonna be even. I mean, it is what it is. And I'm using my Mac 24 Hour Extended Eye Base. This is like my one Mac product. <laughs> I've never used that before. The primer. It's really good. See, I don't even use a primer on my eyes. You I'm have the worst. to. I know. I'm the or worst. Or please. If I've like ever been lazy and skipped priming, well, you can use concealer. I guess that's what I'm gonna do so that I don't look like I'm unprofessional. 
I use concealer really sometimes. Yeah. But I, it's hard to like do concealer when you have lashes because you don't want to like put concealer on top. Oh my god, true. So well, I'm using that. Yeah. It's tricky. <laughs> it's good stuff. Okay. I mean, I have the um. What's the purple? The Urban Decay one that everybody has. Oh man. Is that so basic? I mean, it's like the original eye primer. I feel like. I feel like too. Oh, sorry, I think my brows look. Halfway these. Oh yeah, I'm just setting my eye primer. Peach cream from the Too Faced White Peach Palette. This is the palette that just happened to be in my everyday makeup bag, so we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> you just use what's there, that's the truth. Alright, I'm about to use this face. Okay. I'm gonna use a fuzzy. <laughs> this color. It's like a taupey color. And lightly dust it through my upper crease area, like brow bone kind of. This is just like my basic eyeshadow routine. Okay, so for my everyday palette, I use the Modern Renaissance Anastasia That's palette. That's probably like my main one when I have it in my bag. This thing is a hot mess because it's been traveling it's a lot so lately. good though. I feel like I'm always like reaching for it. Um, for me, I'm going to use, I think lately I've been using raw sienna. It's kind of this like brownish, orangish, kind of, I don't even know. Oops, okay. I'm using Sweet Fig now. It's like more of a mauve taupe color and I'm using a MAC 217 brush just to kind of like put that in my crease a little bit more defined. And then I'm like making a V and bringing it towards my lash line to smoke out the outer corner. The way I do it is I really just take this raw sienna and I really just put it all over. Put it all in the crease. I don't go all over, but I kind of like that look like an all over. Well, not like all over, but like a washed out kind of. It's very, um, that's like Kylie Jenner. Like, that's what she does. Like just puts like a brown color kind of all over her lid. I just got to like the lights darken. Every time I do eyeshadow, my eyelashes just like... Oh, I know. <laughs> this looks fantastic. Okay, now I'm going to take this really big Morphe blending brush. It's the N504. And just like blend everything out so that it's smooth. I have that brush. I didn't know that's what it was for. I don't know. I just <laughs> This is what I use it for. I just use the same brush to blend things afterwards. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I do that sometimes too, but I feel like, I don't know, this one's just really soft, and then this is the, like, you can see the difference. This one's just bigger and softer, so if I have it, why not? Okay. Okay, so after I feel like I've done my creases enough, I usually move on to warm talc. Is this one right here? Okay. I'm use this type of brush, some flat brush. Flat brush. brush, yeah, something. I don't know, that one's kind of weird. But it's like still kind of fluffy. Yeah, it's got a little bit of fluff to it. Okay, I'm using this palette. Um, it's like a quad by Charlotte Tilbury. It's called the Uptown Girl Luxury Palette. And I'm gonna use the colors Prime. Wait, which ones are these? Prime and Pop. These two shimmery ones, and I like to use them with my finger. I feel like they work best that way. And like, if you follow Charlotte Tilbury on Instagram, whenever she applies these, she does it with her finger too. So it's like shabam. Oh, that's good. I know. God, you have such a good everyday makeup look. Mine's so aggressive. But I mean, this isn't. This isn't even like for real. This is a lie. <laughs> this is fake. This isn't your everyday. Well, I mean, if I'm trying to like look well, good, like if I was going out like on a day date or like, I don't know. What do I do? I don't have like meetings. <laughs> You're coming to meet me. Yeah. Just kidding. Like if I had like an afternoon activity or something. I don't know. I would wear this at night too. I like to be kind of more casual. Alright. I like my really okay, go ahead. I really like blend that top color into the orangey color. Yeah. And my blending is nowhere near as good as that blending, but that's okay. Go back so over to the for a long time. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this second one on the bottom. It's a little bit more shimmery. This one, this, or I guess this one's more glittery. This one's more like shimmery. So this just adds a little more sparkle on top, which is fun. But these eyeshadows are like some of the best. So if you want a really good shimmery shadow, you should use the Charlotte Tilbury ones. They're like really good. 
I'm actually biased and I really like the court palettes for the shimmer from Kylie. Yeah, those are always good too. You can't go wrong. really like those ones. You can't go wrong with the Kylie palette. Okay, mm -hmm. I think my eyes are done because I don't have to put eyeliner on thanks to my amazing eyelashes. You can put eyeliner on. It's so hard for me though to put eyeliner on with lash extensions. I know. It like, I dread doing it and I love the way it looks, but it's like you have to like push them down and like. Just, it takes like the 20 minutes and I'm not trying to do that. Okay, for my last color, I use a shimmer. It's the golden-ish shimmer. It's called Primavera. This is all still from that same palette. And this one I just do right on the inner corners. And I kind of pull it out a little bit. Forgot about my lower lash line. I'm just putting that sweet fig color on my lower lash line. And for my lower lash line, I go back and use the darker color from my brow palette. <laughs> and I'll just do that along the lower lash line. Sometimes if I'm feeling extra spicy, I'll put a little bit of this on the top lash line too instead of eyeliner. Okay, I'm going to do bronzer with my hourglass bronzer. Um, this is nude bronze light, the color. And then MAC 135. And this is like a good natural bronzer, I think. Not like a contour or anything. Gosh, I'm so pale right now, like my jaw and like neck right here. So I'm just gonna put my bronzer down there too. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this along the top lash line because I kinda need a fill. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's Thursday. probably because the beach and the facial, it's all good. In a few days, we'll fix them up. Have them looking fresh for the party. Yes, Ali's coming to my engagement party. So excited. I'm so excited. I know it's gonna be fun. I have no idea what to expect. So, people have been like asking me questions about it. Like, you're like, what's oh. the food? What's everything? And I'm like, I know, I know as much as you do. <laughs> like, I don't know, which is kind of nice. Like, it's a surprise, but. I have no idea. Okay, so this is kind of glammed up a little bit, I feel like, since I've added the um, top eyeliner, but that's okay. That's okay. Anyways. Looks good. Okay, I'm putting on like a blush slash highlighter mix with this Becca palette. It's the Chrissy Teigen one. This color is called Beach Nectar. So I kind of put that like right here on like the top apple part of my cheek and then like blend it backwards. Also, um, for my fallout, I usually leave it unless it's like a really aggressive color, then I will uh, touch it up a little bit. But I like it to be a little bit smoky at the bottom. And for blush, oh my god, this is literally 10 years old. This is a MAC. Look at Surprise. the end, end of the brush. My dog ate the brush. <laughs> Surprise, <laughs> another MAC palette. Um, this is. The Hark the Herald Dry Face Kit. It's clearly a Christmas. Yeah, one. I was gonna say that sounds um, <laughs> And the blush that I'm using, okay, it's um, I think it's Beauty Powder. That's called it's Oh So Fair. So it's like the one that's underneath these. Oh, it's the sneaky. Color. And that I just some very I'm aggressive with my blush. And I just put that on my apples. Yeah, I just put on some blush too. Just this blush color on here. I just like barely put it on top of that like shimmery one I did. And I also like put a tiny bit of this one like right on my cheekbone, but it's a little too dark for me. So I put it kind of like in my bronzer. And then I use the Becca Champagne Pop. Yes, I have the, It's my I have favorite. The I guess that's Jacqueline Hill too, but I have the like whole palette kind of like this one. It's so good. Oh, she has a whole. Mm -hmm. I'll show. I'll use it on you. I'll show you. Yes. Yeah, so after this, in case you didn't know, we're filming a video for Ally Channel too, and I'm gonna do her makeup, which is gonna be really fun because I've never done her makeup before. I'm so excited. So we're gonna do like a full on like super glam type of thing. It's gonna be cool. We're gonna do something super fun because I just got all this new ColourPop stuff. In yeah. My I'm really excited about it. Okay. I think I'm done besides putting on my lips, but the last thing I always do is take like a humongous brush and blend out my like bronzer, highlighter, blush, everything so that my face is like not like chopped. Muddy. Yeah, we don't want any muddy faces. Muddies. 
Okay, I'm gonna set it. I usually do that too, but mine doesn't look like this. I usually use one of those like fan brushes. Yeah, those are good too. But just something that fluffy. Me, so you can just like, I'm just gonna set my face with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. And this one's cool, but if you have oil, if you have oily skin, it kind of is annoying. I use the Urban Decay All Nighter yeah, Basic. That's good. That setting good. spray. The original. And I don't usually honestly do a lip. I so I just go with what's on my lips, which is called flesh. Or foundation. Or okay. foundation. I'm using the Kylie Coco K liner. This is like the only actually no it's not, but it's one of the few cleaning products I have. You are so official. Okay, she that has a palette to put her shit on and I use my wrist. Okay. Here's the deal. That came with the Anastasia lip palette, which I can show you too. I have all my stuff with me in my big Mac briefcase. Um, this is the Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick, and this is in the color Vibe, which is like a good vibe, which is a good everyday nude. And it lasts a really long time. It's like super matte. It's good. Okay, we're done. Last step, if you have lash extensions, is to brush your lashes. But if you don't, then that really sucks. You're going to have to put on mascara. <laughs> yes. Hopefully you don't have to deal with that. I would say um, when I do my makeup, I brush my lashes two out of ten times. So typically I go with the unbrushed look. I mean, yeah. If, and if it just depends. Like This is the final look of our everyday thing. So I mean, I really wouldn't do this every day. I would probably just not wear makeup at all. I mean, I just do. don't. But this is like my basic look. Like, like when I go I'm to, like, yeah, like if we're gonna just go out to eat or something and I'm like, okay, John dressed up and looks cute, this is what I'm gonna put on my face because mm -hmm. I need to, like, not let the ladies mac all over him because I'm some ugly <laughs> bump again on the side. But And it took like 20 minutes, so it's like a pretty easy. And thing. we're not talking, it takes like what? Yeah, we were talking. Like so it probably takes minutes. like 10, 15 minutes. But, anyways. This is the final look for this video, so we're going to upload both of our videos at the same time. So make sure you check out Allie's channel, and I'm going to link it below, and you can go watch a video on her channel of me doing her makeup. Yes. So, yes. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. But, okay, let's get started. Mm -hmm. Grown out, so if they're really grown out, then they tend to, like... Yeah, I'm still. Um, okay, I'm gonna be like, hello, welcome back to my channel today. I have a special treat, my first makeup collaboration. And I'm gonna look right on. Very pretty, I like your makeup. Thank you. I did it myself. Yeah, I will. I love you. Oh, yeah, I do. What the f? So that would be in it. You like got all I know. Why was he doing that? Was there a Okay, I gotta make sure it looks good. Oh, I knew. 